Good day everybody, this is Nel Karoko again and I received one inquiry from Saudi about the race horse truck lighting design. And I remember I did some in Iraq before but we did not get the order. So yes, I will show you the design that I created for this Earbill race horse truck. If you want to know this race horse truck, you can go and Google it and you will see that this is the Earbill International Equestrian Club. So this is their website and this is the actual photo right now. You can see there are floodlights uh, on this equestrian area but on the race, ho uh, race horse truck there is no floodlights yet until now. Okay, so this is my design and I would like to show you the presentation. So this is way back, I think 2013. <laughs> yeah, this is a very old project. And yes, this is the table of contents and the design considerations when you do a horse race truck. So uh, lux level, glare, obtrusive light, camera positions, and pole and mass locations and the, the type of the floodlight. And actually I use HIT or metal halide floodlights on this project because we don't have LED uh, during that time. Okay, so these are the uh, lighting standard requirements for a racehorse truck. So the class one is 200 lux average for the uh, horizontal and for the vertical it's supposed to be 750 lux and the uniformity is uh, 0 0.6. For class 2 is 100 and for class 3 is only 50. So I think what I did is not uh, only 200 lux but more than that because it's more of a televised uh, project, a televised race horse truck. Okay, so these are the, and this is the layout and the cut, uh, the flood, the aiming of the flood that's on the floor plan. So the height of the mass is 30 meters and I used the LG4 from CBC standards and uh, mass spacing is 123 or 124 meters apart because i divided the race horse truck and you know what the most difficult part of this project is you cannot mirror it unlike in the football field or cricket or any other rectangular or square sports field you can use the mirror effect of uh from dialux regular but this one because the shape is different like it's not typical to the other side so i can i did not or i cannot use the mirror effect so it's really difficult to achieve those 0.6 um lux value but i think i did that and i will show you later the calculation results okay so this is the, the calculation results so yeah i yeah okay so it's 228 lux and i got uh, 0.65 or overall uniformity so i think i did a class, class one level yeah okay and for the camera is 1000 lux there you go yeah so i have six cameras there and um, next time i think i need to put it in the uh, udemy as a course so i will teach you on how to do this racehorse truck so some techniques on how to do the, the racehorse truck lighting design okay and these are the floodlights it's metal halide and this is the mast design and uh, we I, I think we have contact with abacus during that time and then they supplied me some information with this one yeah and this is the 3d view so i created also the whole project because not only the racehorse racehorse truck that uh, we we did a calculation but also for the parking area and uh, the other areas and look at that <laughs> amazing and i did this one in dialux regular dialux 4.13 there you go some rendered image and these are some of the inspirational images during that time that i did the project so before i do the design i look for some projects that has similar approach and also with the same lighting design so these are the images so this one is the cardboard park I don't know exactly where it is but yeah and this one is the singapore turf club so it's in singapore of course and this is the maiden race course this is the one of the biggest race course uh horse for for horse in the uae in the middle east actually it's in dubai the maiden race course and it's really beautiful in there and another one is the nad al sheba race, race course which is also in the uae 
And that's it. So these are the few things that we used. And yeah, I think I also did some um, camel and race horse track in Oman. So I can also share this one to you later on. But um, yeah, because I have two comparisons here. One is the parallel lighting, both sides. And the other one is floodlight lighting. Floodlight lighting with 18 meters pole height and 60 meters pole distance apart. Well, this one is 20 meters only so we consider the 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 most efficient and cheaper solution in terms of the numbers of poles and floodlights and for the air build this is the lighting layout that i created you can see here are yeah i think we, we did a lot on this project but we did not get the order because of the conflict and this is the mass detail drawing yes for the m1 m2 must one or must two must three must four these are the locations of the floodlights and the quantity of the floodlights for each must because in front uh the side side part of the audience is the higher must because of the 1000 lux requirements for the cctv and i also did some uh, yeah the quantity of the must uh, the ma quantity of the floodlights per must and the type of the fitting I think this type is based on the beam optics, similar to the golf course. I, I always do um, uh, creating a table for the floodlights. And this is also the power consumption. So I also created a power consumption table and also, what are these? Yeah, BOQ and specification. Okay, so um, on the next video or maybe in Udemy, I will teach you how I did this project and um yeah i hope you like it and i hope you will watch for this all right so see you again on see you again on the next video bye